morning students this is your rekha map and today we are going to do the formal letters now basically formal letter is written to the editor to make inquiries send replies to place or supply order complaining against somebody or something make job offers or to apply for the jobs now the tone of the formal letter is formal but always polite and courteous there are various types of letters as i told you placing order complaint letter inquiry letter to the editor and the job application now first of all i will tell you the format of the letter which is very important the first thing you will write your self address self address is given in the question and then leaving a space of one line you will write the date or you will mention the date on which you are writing the letter then after leaving a space of one line you will write the address of the addressee or it can be also called as recipient address and then without leaving any line in the very next line you will write the salutation like dear sir or you know dear ma'am you can write that in the next line you will write the subject and that subject of the letter should not be written in more than you know four to five words then you will write the body of the letter the content which is asked in the question and then comes the complimentary close like yours truly yours sincerely or yours faithfully depending on the person you are writing the letter to and then you will put your signature and then the designation which is also given in the you know question so have you understood the format of the letter okay next comes the marking scheme of the letter which comes in the board exams you know in 12 class board exams the letter basically comes of six marks which is divided into 1 plus 3 plus 2 one mark is given for the format three marks are given for the content and two marks are given for the expression so that you know when it becomes total it is of six marks so you should be very particular about everything now what happens we will take all these letters one by one the first letter which we are going to do is placing order you may be placing the order for any you know product so but you need to remember some points while writing this placing order letter the first thing is depending on the order you must mention the name of the items which you are ordering for its brand color size and quantity next thing date by which product is to be delivered and reason behind it if you are asking the you know uh, the person to deliver your products by this date you need to tell the reason also so that he makes the order positively by that date then conditions like free from manufacturing defects maybe you know if you are ordering for uh, books you should mention that it should be of the latest publications and then you will mention the mode of the payment and in the end you will mention the discount which you want the company should offer you so let us understand this letter of placing order through an example i will read for you you are naman public nena the pre primary in charge of agarwal public school faridabad you want to place an order for furniture of pre primary section write a letter to the manager of kohinoor furniture block c kirti nagar new delhi placing an order for the same now here your self address is agarwal public school faridabad your designation is you are the pre primary in charge and then you know you have to make order for the furniture right so let us do the question 
as I told you, the first thing you need to write is your self-address, which is Agrawal Public School, Faridabad. Next, I told you is to leave a space of one line and then mention the date, as we have mentioned here, 21st April 2000, the year. Then, leaving one line space, you will write the address of the addressee. Now, here the addressee is the manager, Kohinoor Furniture, Block C, Kirti Nagar, New Delhi. As you can see, the address is given in the question itself. Then the salutation, dear sir. Then the subject. Now, subject here is placing order for furniture. As I told you, you need to mention it in three to four words. And then how you will start? You will write, after going through various catalogs, I wish to place an order for furniture for a pre-primary section. Kindly send us the following items. And then you will make a table. You will put down serial number, then name of the item, then color, then quantity. Why color? Because here we are asking for the furniture for pre-primary section. So we will mention the colors and then of course the quantity. As I have written here, desks, color blue and quantity 40. Chairs, color red because you know this is for the small kids so we can make it very colorful. Red and then of course you know we have ordered for 40 desks so we will order for 40 chairs. And then Almira, which can be of blue color, we have ordered for two. And then racks, you know, the racks are there to keep the different. So that can be brown and we have ordered for two. As I told you, you need to be very particular about four things while writing this letter. So as I told you, the date and the reason. Please send all the items by 15th June. So we are writing today in April and we are asking them to deliver the items by 15th June as our new primary, pre-primary session is going to begin on 2nd July 2000, the year. And you know why we are asking for? Because so that when the session will start, there should be no problem. Everything should be settled by that time. So I have mentioned, you know, 15th June and because the session is going to begin on 2nd July. Then... Next thing I told you is the manufacturing defect. Since you are, you know, ordering for furniture, so you will write, please see that all the items are free from manufacturing defects. And then, of course, you know, I told you about the payment. So you can write here, I am sending a demand draft of rupees 10,000 as an advance and rest of the payment will be given at the delivery of the goods. And then in the end, you need to mention the discount. So as I have done here, also allow a discount of 25% as promised in the catalog. And then you will put an end to the letter. Hoping for an early and favorable response. Yours truly. You can write here Nana or Naman as you are. And then the designation pre-primary in charge. So I hope the letter is clear to you. You can go through it and understanding this. You can do the assignment which I have given further for your practice. And I have given two questions. The first one is Mr. Rohan Khanna is the sports instructor in Gita Convent, Jaipur. The principal of the school asks Mr. Khanna to place an order for buying cricket kits, volleyball nets, football, badminton and other sports accessories required. Mr. Khanna decides to place an order with Mrs. Lohia Sports Equipment, Jaipur. So you will write a letter on behalf of Mr. Khanna, placing an order for the sports goods. You need to mention everything here, right? Okay, so the next question is, you are the librarian of DPS school, sector 19 Dwarka. You want to purchase a dictionary and some books for the library for competitive examination. Place an order with Oxford Bookstore, Shakespeare, New Delhi. Here we have not mentioned the books, you know, which uh, we want to order for. You can give your, you know, as you wish for. So, but that book should be for the competitive examination. And your self-address is, of course, you know, DPA Sector 19, Dwarka. And the 
you know address of the address is also given so i hope if you will do both these questions you can you know do any question of uh, placing order so that's all for today we'll continue in the next video